Welcome to Lecture 1, Introduction. Before launching into coding a computer program, it is worth exploring a few introductory computer programming concepts. Introductory computer programming concepts that everyone should know, a starting point prerequisite for any computer programming course. First, the role played by application programming solutions in the computer hardware operating system and applications hierarchy. Second, how John von Neumann's general purpose computer architecture, the computer architecture that set the stage for the general purpose computer program. The general purpose computer program that turns the general purpose machine into a special purpose machine. Third, the common computer program organization consisting of data and instructions. The common computer program organization where instructions acts on data to produce information. Fourth, how structured programming influenced the transition from the computer programming language procedure oriented paradigm to the computer programming language object oriented paradigm. Fifth, the common preprocessor compilation build and execute process used to create a standalone executable the portability model for the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm. Finally, sixth, the object-oriented virtual machine development process, the portability model for the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm. Application solutions, or apps, require a foundation. A foundation supported by hardware, and an operating system to function as a synchronous unit. As such, technological advances in hardware and operating systems were required before the apps could provide a special purpose solution, a special purpose solution for a general purpose machine. A special purpose solution provided by computer program application software Initially, the only computer program software developed was the operating system. Early computers were single purpose or machine control computers, the Jacquard Loom, for example. Application software was added later to the hardware operating system application software hierarchy, where the application software part turned the general purpose machine into a special purpose machine a special purpose machine dependent upon the application software. The operating system stayed in place to control the hardware, but also became the intermediary between the application software and the hardware. Initially, all three layers of the hierarchy required computer system engineers, or SEs. Early computer programming application software was developed to operate at the machine level. The assembler computer programming language was a prime example of machine level computer programming. Fortunately, advances in hardware and operating systems were matched by advances in computer programming languages. With advances in computer programming languages, the user began to play an ever stronger role in developing the apps or application solutions. Application solutions based on a general purpose computer programming language. Application solutions that today are based on general purpose computer programming languages. As such, the initial hardware operating system and application software hierarchy model remains intact today to provide a foundation for the development of application solutions. Application solutions applicable for a wide variety of hardware, operating systems, developers, and users. The general purpose computer model precipitated a turning point, a turning point in the evolution of computer programming languages. John von Neumann's general purpose computer model expanded, enhanced, and extended the role of computer programming. Now for the first time, computers could be programmed to process data to provide information. Processing data to provide information 
led to the input processing output algorithm. The input processing output algorithm, which has become the cornerstone for computer programming, the cornerstone which still persists today, irregardless of any specific computer programming language. Data is input by users. The data is processed by the processor at the direction of a computer program. The resulting information is output to either permanent information storage or directly to the user. Even though dramatic technology improvements in computer hardware and software have taken place since the introduction of John von Neumann's general purpose computer model in 1945, John von Neumann's general purpose computer model of the past still persists today. Today for a wide variety of computers, computer programming languages, operating systems, developers, and users. Now that we have discussed the general purpose computer model, let's dig deeper into the architecture of the computer program itself. The common computer program architecture. Again, this is an architecture that has passed the test of time. Still relevant under today's dominant computer programming language, object-oriented paradigm as it was with the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm. No surprise, the common computer program architecture has withstood the test of time. Because the common computer program architecture is tethered to the general purpose computer architecture. Likewise, the common computer program model requires that data is processed by instructions to provide information. This requires that data must first be defined or declared before the data can be processed by the computer program instructions to provide information. This is true for all computer programming languages, even those computer programming languages of today. This organization persists for the entire program or for a component portion of the program. For the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm, the components are called functions. For the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm, the components are called classes or objects. Irregardless, the common computer program model of data and instructions still applies. The common computer programming model of data and instructions was further refined by the introduction of computer programming best practices. Computer programming best practices for processing of data by instructions to produce information. These best practices were called structured programming. Three distinct families of structured programming control structures were identified. Structured programming control structures common to all computer programming languages namely three families of sequence, repetition, and decision. Application of structured programming best practices has led to modular standalone computer program code. Modular standalone computer program code requires less maintenance, as well as extends the computer programming language to provide enhanced functionality. Modularity leads to the creation of standard libraries of pre-coded modules, pre-coded modules that exhibit structured programming best practices, pre-coded modules, modules available to the computer programmers for reuse and assembly, reuse and assembly that can replace developing computer program code from scratch. The standard library approach accomplishes a major objective, the major objective of reuse of computer program code computer program code created using structured programming best practices. These vast libraries of source code gave way to libraries of object code, hence the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm. The computer programming language object-oriented paradigm extends the original common computer program model, the common computer program model of data and instructions to the common computer program model 
of properties and methods. The object form of the common computer model encapsulates the data and instructions into properties and methods based model, where properties include the characteristics of the data, where methods include the instructions that operate on the data. Since objects are in compiled object form, thus functionality is thus made available to the computer programmer for reuse without the risk of modification, while still ensuring structured programming best practices. Thus the computer programmer can tailor what is reused but cannot modify the object. As such, the object code can now be used by others without fear that it has been modified. That's reuse with certification and guarantee. Computer program code reuse under an enhanced common computer program model. A common computer program model based on the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm. The preprocessor compilation build and execute process describes the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigms development process. The C programming language has been chosen as the computer programming language to demonstrate the computer development process under the computer programming language procedure oriented paradigm. The first step is to combine the computer programmer's specific source code with pre-written library source code. Pre-written library source code provided by the C computer programming development software. The C computer programming development software used to develop your computer program. The Miracle C workbench will provide the C computer programming development software. The Miracle C workbench can be downloaded from the internet for free. Your source code is developed using a common text editor already available on your computer. Myself, I like Notepad because of its versatility, simplicity, and ease of use. After merging the pre-written library source code with your source code, the next step in the preprocessor compilation build execute process is compilation. The compilation step transforms the combined source code into object code or machine code. The next step combines pre-written library object code with your object code. Your object code produced by the compilation step. This step is often referred nowadays as the build step, formerly referred to as the link edit step. The final results is a standalone executable. The standalone executable that can be executed by either the Miracle C workbench or the command processor. The command processor is already resident on your computer. Next we will discuss the computer programming development process supported by the computer programming language object oriented paradigm. The computer programming language object oriented paradigms computer programming development environment differs substantially from the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigms computer programming development environment. A standalone executable achieves portability for the computer program under the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm. For the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm, a runtime is required to execute the intermediate code to achieve portability. The Java programming language has been chosen as the computer programming language to demonstrate the computer programming language object-oriented paradigms computer programming development process. This requires the downloading of the J2SE Java development kit to establish a Java virtual machine on your computer. The Java virtual machine includes compiler and runtime software to support the computer programming development process. The first step, as it was with the procedural programming language paradigm, is to create your computer program source code. 
Again, I like Notepad because of its versatility, simplicity, and ease of use. The difference is that there is no preprocessor source code step because reuse is achieved by combining pre-compiled classes or bytecode where the merging of pre-written source code was the approach under the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm. The next step is to compile your computer source code using the compiler. The compiler is included with the J2SE Java Development Kit. For example, the Java Virtual Machines Java C.exe software. The compilation step produces your computer object code or your class code. Additionally, the compilation step loads pre-compiled library classes. Pre-compiled library classes that are combined with your classes. The resulting combined class code is called intermediate code. The next step is to execute your intermediate code. Your intermediate code is executed by the Java Runtime or the Java.exe software. The Java Runtime is included in the J2SC Java Development Kit. This is how Java achieves reuse of pre-compiled library classes. In this case, pre-compiled library classes are used to extend the functionality of your computer program. As such, reuse of pre-compiled computer code under the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm is more reliable because it can only be reused without modification. As such, in this case, portability is achieved by porting your computer classes to platforms that have a Java virtual machine installed. A Java virtual machine that ensures reuse reliability through the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm.